Hey guys, this is Zach with ECS Tuning and today we're going to be talking about our high flow turbo inlet pipe for 1.8T and 2.0T MQB cars. This is a quick to install and affordable little mod that really lets your turbo breathe more thanks to its larger diameter. Uh, we made it with a 70 millimeter OD thin wall 6061 aluminum. You can see it's wrinkle black powder coated. And then at this end we've got it bead rolled so your hose clamp stays clamped in place. And then on the other end, we've got a machined flange uh, with a bell mouth inlet, helps with airflow, uh, and that's TIG welded onto the pipe. That flange also reuses the OEM O-ring, so you'll never have a problem finding an O-ring. Uh, then we've got our PCV flange, which is compatible with the early, more common style clip-on PCV connector, uh, or the newer constant pressure PCV connector, and it's also compatible with our catch can system. Uh, so you also notice that both flanges are bare. Uh, that's because we, we mask them off before powder coating to make sure that no powder coating affects fitment. So the thing fits perfect. Uh, this thing, apart from looking good and being well built, uh, sounds great. It lets a little bit more turbo noise out, which I think is a huge benefit. Uh, but beyond that, it does make power. On our Mark 7, we saw at peak 4.4 wheel horsepower and 6.7 pound-feet of torque. That was with a Cobb tune, uh, turbo back exhaust, intercooler pipes, and an intake. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's not bad, right? Uh, about five wheel horsepower. But where it really shines is the mid-range. Uh, in the middle of the rev range, we saw 10 wheel horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque, which is really good given what this thing runs you and how easy it is to install. It's very easy and hardly takes any time at all, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just pop the engine cover off real quick. And now we're going to remove this hose. Uh, we're going to start with our Schwab and hose clamp pliers. You got a seven millimeter hose clamp down at the bottom. Okay, that should be loose enough. Just pull that off and pull it off the air box. All right, so here we are down to the turbo in the pipe and uh, we can see that we've got the constant pressure style PCV connector, uh, which means there's just no clips to, to press to release the thing. So these are kind of, these are a little bit harder to get off. So what I'm gonna do here is actually remove the PCV uh, hose up here. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna have to get some stuff out of the way. I'm gonna get the coil pack harness out of the way, take off these tens, disconnect them at the coil packs. And uh, then I'm also gonna remove this T30 uh, to get a little give in this fuel line. And then we should be able to snake that out. Pop some of these solenoid connectors as well. And fuel pump. Okay, that should give us plenty of room. I'll pop the connector off the diverter valve as well. Why not? Okay, so now we'll remove the T30 from the turbo on the arm on the inlet pipe. That'll let us turn it clockwise and pull it off, and then we'll remove the T30 here at the PCV block. All right, I'll turn the turbo inlet pipe clockwise, it should come right out. All right, so with this off the car, grab a pick and jam it right into that slot, pry up a little and then grab a friend and have them pull on it. These things are pretty on there, so it takes some real pulling. Hey, hey. 
Now we're gonna take the PCV hose and just kind of snake it back in, get it back into place, and then we'll put the turbine lip pipe in rather than dealing with them together. All right, so uh, before we put our turbo inlet pipe in, we're gonna swap the O-ring right on over. This one is in good shape, so we're just gonna reuse it. Whoops. There we go. All right, so we've got a little bit of lube on the O-ring. Make sure it goes in nice and smoothly. Pop this puppy in. Okay, now we can pop our PCV hose on. Okay, and then we'll put all our connectors back together, coil pack harness, all that stuff. All right, now we're gonna throw our hose back in place. Make sure it's over the bead roll. Nice and snug. All right, with the engine cover back in place, that's job done. I think you'll agree that was pretty quick and easy, especially given the nice bump in power that you get and the little bit of uh, increased turbo noise we talked about. Now the noise isn't drastic enough for our microphones to be able to pick up or we would show you. But anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, so if you liked this video, if it was helpful, uh, give us a subscription, comment on the video, ding the notification bell, and we'll keep making more cool videos for you. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time.